Hello world, the little old visionaries out there. So, if you are new into my YouTube channel, I'm Jemson Sedo. I'm helping all the digital visionaries to have their own business online. It's all about business online. So, in today's video, pag uusapan natin, kailangan natin magkaroon ng fuel. So, kailangan yung fuel na yun, merong specific na dinutumbok ka para lalong gumana pa yung business mo. So, so that you will be succeed also or mag magkaroon ng success dun sa ginagawa mo. So, yung mga lima na to na isi-share ko sa'yo, I hope makatulong sa'yo. So, tutok ka sa ating video para malaman mo sila. Okay? So, let's dive in into our video. Alright, so, what are those fuel na kailangan natin para tuloy-tuloy tayo at saka magkaroon ng success dun sa ating business. So, number one is to have a determination. Yan. So, ano ba yung determination? Determination means someone who's determined to do something is extremely motivated and unlikely to quit or change their mind. Someone who's determined is, in general has a very strong desire to achieve their goals. Someone who's determined in this way is said to be showing determination. The quality of being firm in one's purpose. Yan. So, kapag meron kang determination, no, kahit wala pang result. Yan. So, alam nyo, sa success talaga, lalong-lalo na yung talagang pinaghirapan at talagang pinag-pray. No? Yung success talaga, hindi, hindi agad-agad na kukuha yan. Talagang pinaghihirapan yan. So, kailangan natin na kailangan mo magkaroon ng ganitong spirit of determination so that whatever na gusto mong gawin, yung ego goal mo talaga. Because you have a big picture, you know your goal, no? Kailangan meron kang determination. You will never quit, no? Even maraming nagte-turn down, maraming nag maraming nagki-criticize sa you will continually, no, gagawin mo pa rin yung ginagol mo. Kaya you have you need to have a determination. That is number one fuel that we need to have so that we can have a successful business. Yan. And then number two na kailangan natin gawin or magkaroon is to have a positive mindset. Yan. So again, di ba alam naman natin na meron kapangyarihan yung pag apply ng blood of Jesus sa mind natin. So, let's apply the blood of Jesus in our mindset. Why? Because many times, no, na inaano pa rin sa atin ng kalaban o ng, ng dating buhay natin, yung wala tayong magagawa and then laziness and then yung mga sinabing negative sa'yo. But now, you need to have a positive mindset. Why? Because Christ already gave you the solution. He already died on the cross, no? Kasi nga, tinapos na niya lahat. So, we need to be positive. Yan, positive ka lang. Ano yung mga nangyayari sa paligid mo? It's only a situation that can give you a lesson, no? Learning and lesson sa mga situation na meron ka. And nakita ko talaga, dun sa mga nangyayari yung situation, obstacles, no? na meron tayo sa paligid natin, you can use those obstacles and situation para magkaroon ka ng mga lesson and learnings. Yan. So, alam nyo, mga example natin sa mga successful na mga business people, they learn from all the things na nangyayari sa kanila. Even the negative. But, hindi nila ini-insert talaga yung mga negative thoughts. Yan. Sa mga isip nila. So, you need to have a positive mindset. You need to say that I can do this. I am a child of God. Diba? Uh, nothing is impossible with the Lord. Diba? Kaya I need to have a positive mindset. Okay? So that's number two. Fuel. Okay. Alright, so in number three naman, you have to always go back to your vision and mission. Yan. So ano ba yung nakakapagpalakas? O oh, nakakapagpapursigi sa'yo lalo? Your vision and mission. That's why I want to have you a vision and mission behind your business. Okay, so, kunyari, wala pang nangyayari talaga sa business mo. O kaya, talagang ginawa mo na yung mga ibang steps, yung mga techniques, or yung mga naituro ko dito sa YouTube channel natin. And then, wala pa rin. No? So, alam nyo, again, pabalik tayo sa number one, yung kailangan may determination ka kahit wala pang result today. Diba? So, 
sabi nga, if you have a consistency, meron kang consistency sa ginagawa mo, at alam mo yung vision and mission behind your business, no, may spirit of excitement ka na darating yung panahon, makikita nila. At malalaman mo din kung ano yung dapat at yung mga exact na ginagawa mo para mas maging successful yung ginagawa mo o yung business na meron ka. So, yung vision and mission is what is the vision and what is your mission in your uh, business. Like me, I have a vision na lahat ng mga na tutulungan ko, matutulungan ko mga digital people, they will uh, have their more time to their purpose, to their ministry, at the same time, time also to their loved ones, at magkaroon sila ng profitable income. Yan! So, that is my vision. And my mission is to help them and to share to them. And also, sila din, makapag-share din sila sa marami pang mga tao. And they will also help other people. Okay? So, ano yung vision na yun? Nakaka-excite, di ba? So, talagang magpo-fuel sa'yo yun. Kaya, magtutuloy-tuloy ka na. Okay? So, that is number three, fuel. Okay. Number four naman na kailangan mo makita is to value your relationship. Yan. So, sa business, pag meron kang ganito, kunyari, kahapon meron, ka, meron akong live research or about study research dun sa aking Purpose Accelerator program. And then, you need to value your relationship to your audience. Yan. Kaya magpo-post ka ng mga content at gagawa ka ng video na talaga makakatulong sa iyong audience o sa iyong mga customer, target customer. So, you need to value your relationship and hindi na issue sa akin yung massive growth ng viewers or followers. If I have 50, I will help them kahit 50 pa lang sila. Uh, I will see to eat na yung mga 50 na yun, natutulungan ko na sila. So, you need to value your relationship. Actually, nandyan yan, na, ginawa talaga yan ni Lord sa atin. Lalo lang na sa ating ginagawa kay Lord sa Ministry, di ba, we need to value our relationship more than the conflicts, more than dun sa mga problems, and more than sa mga, klaro na pag leader ka, no? alam mo na i-value yung relationship. Kaya kung merong mga something na, kunyari, um, merong mga nag-comment sa'yo, no? you will say thank you because why? Yung mga nag-comment sa'yo na positive, you say thank you. Uh, paano naman kapag may nag-comment sa'yo negative? You will say thank you also. Why? Because... At least, di ba, binigyan ka nila ng feedback na matututo ka. Yan, kung ano yung mga dapat mo pang matutunan. So, you need to value your relationship more than anything. So, um, sa pagkakaroon ng business, you need to know how to value that relationship. Kasi, ang business talaga is all about serving and helping other people. If that person is so super toxic, no, talagang pwede mo naman siyang sabihan na, Sige, hindi tayo fit. Baka hindi para sa'yo itong business na to. Or hindi talaga tayo pwedeng magkasama sa business. Pwede mo sabihin yun. At least, di ba, hindi, hindi kayo maghihiwalay ng hindi maganda. It's uh, maganda pa rin yung paghihiwalay ninyo. Kaya yung relationship pa rin yung manginibabaw. You will have the wisdom, the right word to say for that person. And then, again, balik tayo. Kailangan talaga, pag nag-business people ka or business person ka, you need to know how to value your relationship to other people. And you, you know those people na hindi talaga fit dun sa business mo. Kaya nga, yung right message, direct message dun sa mga people na, na talagang uh, sila yung mga taong gusto mong makatrabaho. So, merong opposition or merong mga ano talaga sa business. So, okay? So, that's our number four view when you need to value the relationship that you have to your customer or target customer. And then, of course, lastly, meron tayo number five is to believe and trust God and also yourself. And, di ba, sabi ni Lord, you are the heirs. No? Ikaw ay anak ko, di ba? And you can do all things through Christ who sent in you. Yan. You need to believe to God and to trust Him. Binigyan ka na ng ability to trust also yourself. Marami sa mga nagbibusiness, no, na dahil meron mga failures, yan. Nakita ko talaga na sa kapag-aaral ko talaga sa business ngayon, ang dami mga testimony na hindi naman sila naging successful agad. So, sa mga failure talaga sila nag-learn. So, you need to trust yourself, no? 
ano man yung ginagawa mo ngayon, you need to trust the Lord and trust yourself. Mayroong mangyayari. Yan. Mayroong kang ma makakamit because you believe that God chose you. Uh, ulitin ko, it's all about relationship and all about serving the business talaga. Yung business talaga. Kaya nga, you need to trust yourself na, yes, Lord, you know my heart. Gusto ko talaga magamit, Lord. No, para marami ako matulungan. So, yan. So, you need to trust yourself. Marami kasi mga mindset like this. I'm not enough. Kanyari, uh, kaya ko ba talaga? Wala akong alam. Tama ba itong ginagawa ko? You will, you will find out. Makikita mo naman talaga. And then, as you try the things na nalalaman mo, ina-apply mo yung mga nalalaman mo, at saka yung mga gusto mong ginagawa, o yung mga, parang may something sa'yo na may guts. Yan. Yung mga guts mo na binigay ni Lord sa'yo, o yung conviction, o yung mga pwede mong gawin. Gawin mo. Yan. Try mo. No? At sabi niya, huwag kang matakot makamali. No? Huwag kang matakot magkamali. Tuloy-tuloy mo lang. Yan. So, that's our... Uh, five UL na pwedeng magpabus sa'yo or magpalakas pa sa'yo sa yung business ngayon. Kasi kailangan mo talaga to. Kasi, pag wala yung five step na to, nakita ko ako, personally, tinignan ko yung sarili ko. Wala akong determination. Baka, nag-quit na ako. And then, kapag hindi ko tinama yung mindset ko at negative lahat yung mindset ko, baka wala na akong gawin. <laughs> di ba? Baka sabihin ko sa sarili ko, stop na. Di ba? <laughs> And then, number three, I always go back to my vision and mission. Bakit ko to ginagawa? Bakit ko to gustong gawin? Yan. And then, I value every relationship. Kaya lahat ng mga uh, nakakapag-comment and nakakapanood sa akin, even though maliliit pa lang yung mga viewers ko, especially sa YouTube channel, I want to value my relationship to you. Yan. Lalo lang na ikaw ng viewers. No? I want to help you even in my free content. Yan. So, and then number five, I need to believe that God has a promise to me. And I, I need to believe to myself because I am a child of God. So, I hope itong video na to nakatulong sa'yo. And alam mo, malaking part talaga itong ganitong mga, mga words na to na nashinare ko sa'yo. To have a successful career or business. No, ano man yung gusto mo. Kasi nga, nauuna talaga sa sarili mo. So, again, if you want to know more about the business online, you can... Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's all about business online. So, I have also a program which is Purpose Accelerator Program na makakatulong sa'yo para magkaroon ng sarili mong business online kasi that's my mission to have a free time, more time for the vision and for the family at the same time you are earning profitable income. Yeah, and so, again, if you want to learn that, you can DM mention me and also um, message me uh, if you want to know more about this. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe. Bye. God bless.